Finally, after a long spell of winter weather, spring has arrived. Aside from preparing the plots, it's time to cut down the willows. In the northern border of my plot, I've planted a few willow bushes. Every spring I cut these down. And every year they grow back three or four meters of long nice poles. This is called coppicing. My favorite tool for cutting these down is a billhook, mostly because of its uh, general old timeliness. But nothing beats a good pair of loppers for efficiency and speed. I start by selecting the straightest and strongest poles for some specific purposes I have. Mostly uh, supporting different kinds of netting or uh, hoops for uh, cabbage netting and uh, trellises for peas. I put these aside. Then it's time to take care of the rest of them. I don't cut these all the way down to the stump. I can't help using the billhook for at least a part of this. My old friend the cowslip. I then saw these closer to the stump with the pruning saw. I have several species of willow. Some are just uh, local ones and uh, some are uh, specifically bred for basket making. Every pole that's to be stuck in the ground has to have its bark removed and the bottom part or they would root to the place. I do this with the sharp back of a knife. For things like hoops for cabbage netting, I scrape uh, one half of them. The irregularities of the bark will shave a hole in the net when the wind blows, so this have to, has to be removed. I then carefully bend them into shape where they are supposed to end up. Both the bending and the scraping is best done when they are still green or freshly cut. So, uh, this video has been a few weeks in the making, but uh, that does allow me to show you what uh, I use the willow for. So here are my uh, prepared hoops for the uh, cabbage netting. I scrape the bark off the upper parts of it and um, before I put the net on I'm going to just rub it down with some sandpaper to remove all these bumpy portions because they will shave a hole in the net when the wind blows and uh, that's a little bit too expensive to uh, use for just one season uh, there's another use some uh, trellises for my uh, piece which are just coming up here Uh, some Feltham first and some uh, Kelvard and Wander. These were started on my balcony and there was already well there were already a few flowers and uh, a small pot. Not too bad. Well, I hope you find this uh, video interesting and I'll
try to get uh, some more videos out soon. Uh, just been very busy the last few weeks with the uh, gardening. Uh, well, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one.